What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 116 of my Rapid Rating Climb series, and we are on a journey to 1000 ELO. So, if you guys enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into today's game. Get some tunes on for you. And deep breath. And let's see who we're playing today. Ninzelthi Lion. Good luck. Good luck. We will be playing with the black pieces. We will be playing the Karo Khan. We will play C5. We'll be getting our knight out on the next move. Um, we're okay with that move. He's more than likely going to try and pin our knight. We will now play E6. So now this is under attack. So we should be winning our pawn back at least. Um, we can also get our knight developed. Just a hanging pawn. Um, okay. So, I mean, we can go over it real quick. I mean, they resigned because they definitely i played with 100 percent accuracy holy crap um c5 they took i developed the knight right they developed their knight defending this pawn that gives us the ability to get our bishop active um you know if they play a move like h3 the bishop can come out to um f5 that's fine they defend with their bishop um because my knight is attacking that still and their knight is not going to be able to recapture that without them losing their queen so in this position we just push a pawn they then try to defend this pawn with another pawn but we can just take that and we do and they then play h3 which allows me to take and the thing is here he doesn't have to take with the queen it's not a good position but he doesn't have to the reason he doesn't want to take with the queen the reason he resigned is because i have this fork and i win the rook and he's just upset because it's a bad opening so let's um that that was kind of crazy let's um i'm so nervous <laughs> 961 we are rated but let's let's play another one lucky strike all right we're gonna play a london Hopefully. Maybe not. This looks like it's like the Dutch or something. I really don't... Don't, uh... Okay. <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure what this opening is. Um, but we're gonna just play a regular London. I think this is called the Dutch. Yeah, it is the Dutch Defense. So I'm not very familiar with the Dutch, but, um, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, so right now I'm wondering if I can just give this check and if I do, he plays this. So I guess I really can't. Um, I guess I can bring the knight in here and we can just develop that way. Um. I could also just kind of get the bishop prepared for it and then get this knight involved. Um, I don't, I, I should probably study some Dutch lines. I actually don't know anything about the Dutch, so. Hmm. Very interesting line. 
so far. So we're going to just go ahead and get this kind of taken care of. I'll drop the bishop back if need be. Um... Hmm. I really don't like that, though. This just seems so wild. It's almost like a stone wall that he's rocking with right now. Um, I'm going to get mine. I'm just going to get developed and get ready to castle. Um, I'm not worried about anything. If he wants to take my knight, that's fine. Um... So, we definitely want to get this knight out before we uh, do anything like this. I mean, I could take with the bishop, but I don't think that's necessarily a very good move. Um, I'm going to get... Uh, there's so many weak squares. I'm going to play this move so that I potentially have this check here in a minute. Um... I don't think my opponent's necessarily playing this correctly, but I am frightened. I mean, if I don't know something, I think it's important to, uh, I'm going to try this move. I mean, I have this follow up as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do in this position, but another resignation. Huh. That's crazy. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't, um, expect to be playing people that played like this. Um, so another really high accuracy game on our end, 96.1%. They played with 54% accuracy. Um... We just played a London. This was their first mistake. Uh, yeah, I, I don't... I, I thought that, um, like, another way, I guess, for the Dutch maybe is this move. But, yeah, I mean, you definitely got to reinforce your pawn structure. I think this bishop stays at home, obviously, if you're doing something like that. Or you play the move b6 to get your bishop kind of like this. Um... I mean, I really don't know. I don't play the Dutch, but I have I have heard of it. I've seen a Gotham chess video before, and he's kind of into it. And uh, I'm pretty sure that this... I, I was pretty positive this wasn't the move, so I didn't really worry about it too much. I thought about getting my knight developed, but I didn't really like that the pawn would end up living here if I took, which I was thinking about doing, um, taking with my knight if I moved it there. So... Um, I didn't want him to capture with the pawn, and then I just can't get my bishop to this square. <clears throat> so we do this. He pushes a pawn. That's a good move. I didn't think he really went too wrong with that move or anything. I do think that this knight was just asking to be kicked out by even just a pawn move in the future. But, you know, more power to him. Um, I played this move, which was not the best move. This one was just far superior. Um... I, I mean, I do this every London, so I basically know what my moves are going to be typically in the opening, just depending on what my opponent plays. This was a wild move to me because I, the whole reason I never gave this check with my queen before I moved my uh, knight here was because he can just simply play g6, and I have to go literally almost all the way back. So, um... Once he play, uh, you know, I blocked, I blocked the square, but I mean, I, I have another, I have a plan. I'm moving my knight into e5 for sure in the future. Um, he has nothing stopping me right now from it. So he has literally developed zero pieces on the back rank except for this knight. Um, whereas 
everything on my side of the board is developed. So before castling, I was like, uh, I don't know what he's going to do. And I also, this just is really weakening. Like, I mean, I also have a check like this, but I mean, again, he can just play a simple move like C6 and, and stop that. Um, so yeah, I get the knight out and now this check is just a thing, right? So he straight up blunders, um, and we'll show the moves check. He moves in. He takes. I can come over and... Ooh. I, I knew there would be something here. Like, I mean, it just wouldn't... Oh, it's... It's bad. You just start to win everything. <clears throat> and they would have to find all the best moves to defend as well. Um, it looks like they come out completely lost with almost all their material gone so that's insane that's a long series of moves i'm sure i wouldn't have found all the best moves in that sequence but um i knew that this check was straight up winning um and it was so um even if they had this pawn still back here i i was gonna play this move so this move didn't deter me really at all i knew that i could just drop the bishop back i mean you know i'm not worried about anything so yeah, I'm sorry that both my opponents resigned today, guys, but free ELO, basically. So, we're rated 968. This is the closest I've ever been to 1,000 ELO. We are making we are making some gains. Um, hopefully tomorrow we can get some full games back again. That would be nice. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and until tomorrow.